Prince William is breaking his silence by releasing a statement along with Princess Catherine, the first since the shocking cancer diagnosis reveal. And Meghan and Harry have once again revealed they cannot be trusted. Welcome to Popcorn Planet. I am Andy Signor. I know a lot of us are still in shock, but Princess Catherine and Prince William have released a new statement. Uh, this came in through Time Magazine. Uh, they released this after all of the reactions to this uh, really sad, tragic news. Uh, this came in on Sunday. Prince and Princess are both enormously touched by the kind messages from people here in the UK, across the Commonwealth, and around the world in response to Her Royal Highness's message. Kensington Palace spokesman told Time last night, they are extremely moved by the public's warmth and support and are grateful for the understanding of their request for privacy at this time. Nice statement to see that they're out there seeing all the positive love, but that last, last sentence really does feel like a knock on someone specifically. And I'm looking at you, Meghan and Harry. Whew, we gotta go through this because this proves so much and there's something in the message I missed the first time that I can't see as anything but a slam. But before we get there, I wanna thank today's sponsor. Guys, we had them on before and I wanna remind you again, if you're looking for the best diamonds at a realistic price uh, that are made ethically, you wanna go get yourself some diamonds over at Ana Lucia Beltran Diamonds. They have been an amazing supporter of this channel. They've actually created stuff for the Royal Jubilee. You can head over to their website. I'm gonna put a link down below in the description as well as the first comment. Please check it out over there. Uh, they're the first designer lab-grown diamond brand and their stuff is gorgeous, guys. And if you use our code POPCORN, you're gonna get 20% off your order. Uh, so please head on over, check out what they got. They got a lot of stuff you can view all. Uh, Ana Lucia is an amazing designer. She's creating some wonderful uh, pieces here and we are gonna be working on some custom pieces soon. So I hope you guys will get in on this, get some ac actually affordable diamonds uh, and support uh, this amazing designer. And in fact, we, in order to support her, we're giving you the chance to win a thousand dollars worth of diamonds. That's right. You still got a little bit of time left. If you head over to our Patreon, you can sign up there and support us. But if you go to the pinned comment, there is a, an extended till the end of this month, a contest where you can win a thousand dollars in uh, Ana Lucia diamonds. That's right. All you got to do is leave a comment on this post. Make sure you're subscribed to both Popcorn Planet, Popcorn Palace, as well as our Instagram over on Popcorn Planet. So all the details are there. I'll put the link to this as well in that comment in the description. So if you'd like to be entered in that comment uh, contest, you can. In the meanwhile, if you just wanna get a good discount on diamonds and support someone, maybe someone special in your life, or heck, yourself, uh, please check out the website, go support them, and uh, make sure to use code POPCORNED, popcorn ED, POPCORNED, uh, at checkout. And thank you, Analysia, for all the support. All right, let's get back into this uh, uh, news because, yeah, Meghan Markle and Prince Harry privately reached out to Kate Middleton and Prince William after cancer announcement. <sighs> now, I had the same reaction Pierce Morgan did. Now, honestly, I'm, I'm not super stoked with the way Pierce Morgan's trying to rewrite the history as if he wasn't out there peddling all the conspiracies, but I'll support him on this one. If it was done privately, then how do you know <laughs> exactly who told them? Where did this report come from? You think William and Catherine, amidst all they're going through, co called up People Magazine? Well, Meghan and Harry did reach out privately. Who told them this? It had to be someone on Harry and Meghan's team. I'm sorry, there's no other, I don't know what else you can deduce from this. I don't think People Magazine would have made this up. A rep for Meghan and Harry maybe applied it or whatever, but this all comes back to Meghan and Harry. If you wanna keep this private, you wanna support your family, you tell all your mouthpieces, all your outlet people, all your PR people, your marketing people, say nothing. Do not give a, any comment regarding this. We are not alluding or doing anything, but they still are. They gotta put themselves out there as if they're still in the loop. And that's what's so disparaging about this and why they can't actually be trusted. And sure enough, yep, Megan not trusted by Palace. Pierce Morgan hints that the messages have been leaked. Uh, this is not a good look. They are not trusted by the Palace. Why resolving the Harry problem is the last thing on Prince William and Princess Catherine's mind. It's not. Prince William does not want to address this right now. He's got way too much going on. And it's so sad because Harry should be there for them right now. My God, he was so close to Catherine. The three of them were very close. And for them to now be written off and labeled racist by Meghan, it's, I, I can't think of bigger karma hitting Meghan and Harry right now of, oh crap, what do we do? Oh crap, what do we do? This is scary, we're in trouble. And I posted an article over the weekend 
uh, that a lot of you engaged with. But here's that link. Uh, Meghan Markle announces Netflix show about how hard it's been dealing with Kate Middleton's cancer diagnosis. Uh, I sadly can't take credit for this. This is Babylon B, as I made clear. Uh, but my God, was this article. The satire of this article was so good that so many of you believed it. Like, people were like, she didn't. That's how bad the brand of Meghan Markle and Prateria, that people believed this, she would do this. Because that's what her brand has become. In many ways, it's been harder on me than on Kate, said Markle, wiping tears. Kate gets so much sympathy because she's white and has cancer. I mean, this was brilliant, Babylon B. I mean, oh my goodness. Uh, but no, it's not real. It is satire, as this site has always been. But again, this comes down to it. Now, I, I want to show you something because... Look, I don't want to just make this about them. I really don't, but they are continuing to make it about them. They're on People Magazine. They're all over. I've seen this link everywhere. This is now the press today, yesterday and today. They've reached out privately. Now, there's something I, I, I missed the first go round, and I think it's so imperative we talk about it, and I prove it to you here. We wish health and healing for Kate and the family and hope they are able to do so privately and in peace, Harry and Meghan said in a statement. Now, I want you to look at that one more time. We wish health and healing for Kate. Now, as someone who reports on the Royals, I can tell you, and I'm going to do it again, I get so much flack every time I say the word Kate, whether it's by accident or whatnot. I've actually said in numerous videos, I, she referenced herself as Catherine. Okay, I hear it. I'm going to try my best to call her Catherine. That's clearly how she prefers to be named. But you got to understand, the press calls her Kate. That's what the press and a lot of people in the U.S. and people just, that's what her name is. Kate Middleton is the search term for many of us. And so journalistically, I still got to use that. Otherwise, a lot of people don't find my story. So you can be offended all you want, but a lot of people are offended. And some say Catherine's offended by the name Kate because her name is Catherine. But look what they named her, Kate. Now, I'm not even showing this to say told you so to all the royalists who yell at me. I believe Catherine prefers Catherine. I've done enough homework. I, I get it. At the same time, her name's Kate by the press. And apparently by Meghan and Harry. <laughs> so take that as you will. It's hard for me to not take this as a shot at Kate, Catherine, because it's two things. And Steph made a good point as well as I was. I pointed this out to her. It's Meghan and Harry's attempt to show that they're closer than the press and everybody else. We can call her Kate. We're in the loop still. She's We're, we're so close that we call her that. They can't call her Princess Catherine. Can you imagine Meghan Markle having to stoop to say those words out of her mouth? We're so uh, set for Princess Catherine. She would never say that. That's why she doesn't talk about it, because she sees herself as an equal and doesn't want to refer to a fellow princess when, Meghan, you're a duchess, and you shouldn't even be that. Let's, let's keep it honest. But she didn't say healing for Princess Catherine. They didn't use the respectful term and, like, do what they're supposed to do. No, they had to call her Kate, which is such a, sh a knock at her. And I imagine Catherine and, and, and William saw that statement. And when they used the word Kate, it, I can't imagine it didn't upset them. I can't imagine it didn't upset them because this is, I, I've seen it firsthand from my own commenters. Oh my God, Andy, it's not Kate, it's Catherine, all caps. Let me just say this to all the, the keyboard warriors. When you do that, it makes me want to say Kate. Okay, I just stop screaming at me with all caps, telling me the name. I know, but look, I'm not, I, I try my best. So many people call her Kate. I don't know what else I'm supposed to do. And it's what the search term is. Sometimes it happens and sometimes I'm reading. So my gosh, be a little bit more patient and kind to people. Don't be like Harry and Meghan. Uh, now, I know her name is Catherine. It's not Catherine Middleton. It's not Kate Middleton. It's Catherine, Princess of Wales, just as Meghan's name is now trying to be Meghan, Duchess of Sussex. Uh, all of this is on purpose, and it just shows you the type of person Meghan really is and what their goals are. It's what we've been calling out for a while, and so many have been like, Andy, no, come on, leave her alone. No, she's a fraud, and she's trying to make herself a princess when she's not. And uh, there's so many other issues, but this knock at Kate at this lowest point, oh my goodness. Like me calling Kate, like Catherine cares. Meghan and Harry releasing a public statement calling her Kate. Whoo, that was a shot. And I missed it the first time. And I caught it as I was prepping this video. And it's hard to, it's hard to not see that. So you got two things. You got they put the fact that they called her Kate in the statement to make it seem like we're close. And let's use her, her, her short name, which I don't even know if that is really her short name. I don't, I don't think people even close really call her that. I don't know anymore, but all I know is, in this message, they should have done the right thing and said Princess Catherine, and they didn't. And then on, to add to it, oh, 
Well, they privately reached out. Who would know this unless you and your team told it? That's not privately if you tell the press, Meghan and Harry. This is so gross, egregious, and ridiculous. Enough. Why do you got to still talk about them? William and Catherine aren't talking about you. They're trying to move on with their life and deal with actual real life stuff. And you got to, we've reached out privately. Yeah, I'm sure to some aide that didn't even respond. Uh, I don't believe for a second uh, Catherine and William have spoken to Harry and Meghan. I don't. And we have more on that, and you're not going to want to miss part two because, yeah, this is big news today. So when it's breaking and big, we report it. So we got another royal story for you today and some other stuff. Make sure you hit that subscribe button because we cover all sorts of pop culture here and breaking pop culture news. Hit the bell for alerts so you get alerted. Smash that like button and leave your comment down below. And don't forget about our big contest. That's right. And support Anna Lucia Diamonds. Get 20% off by going to the, uh, the, the link that's in our comments and description. Make sure it's our link and make sure to use our code POPCORN. You'll get 20% off your order. And my goodness, is their stuff gorgeous. And if you want to win that $1,000 diamond, there's still a shot. There's not that many people. You have a good shot. So go to our, you don't have to sign up to our Patreon. It's free. You, you can sign up free. You don't have to pay is what I mean. Sign up, leave a comment and make sure you're following all the channels. Uh, and if you want to support the channel, you like what we're doing, please consider becoming a Patreon member. It's the best way to support us here. Appreciate all you guys. Thanks so much for watching. We got so much more coming. We'll see you in a minute.